everybody, how's it going? My name is Connor Kelly. I live in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm the electric guitarist in a band called Waker. I'm super excited to be a part of Guitar World's Sick Riffs feature. Um, the song that I'm gonna be playing today is one of our band songs. It's the guitar solo in Many Days Ahead. And this song is off of our debut record, which we just released. We're super excited about it. Um, so what I'm gonna kind of do is I'll play the solo to speed um, and then kind of break it down a little bit. But before we get into that, I wanna tell you about some of the gear I'm using today. So this guitar, this is my Stadler Custom Flying V. Um, it was made by Master Luthier Tom Stadler. He's based out of Hendersonville, Tennessee. It's the best instrument I've ever played. Um, these are custom pickups that he made for the guitar. Uh, it's all Carina and you know, pretty much to spec of like an original 58. Um, right now, I've just got a couple of cables and I'm plugged into a polytune. And that is going into a deluxe reverb. Um, it's a 1971 Silver Vase deluxe reverb. For the original recording of this song, I was using a Blackface Bassman, um, plugged straight in, no pedals or anything like that, and I believe we put it in the bathroom of our producer's house, uh, Lincoln Parish from KG Elephant produced the whole song and the whole record for us. Um, and I love that basement so much, but unfortunately it was stolen. So a good friend in Nashville actually helped me out and gifted me this awesome deluxe reverb. It sounds amazing. I basically just crank it all the way up to 10, um, and I turn the treble all the way up to 10 and the bass pretty much all the way off. I just love how bright the amp is. So that is basically what you'll be hearing today. So I'll kind of take you through the song, like I said, I'll play it to speed and then we can break it down from there. Let's get started. So that solo is in the key of D, D major, and uh, myself and our sax player Alex Matthews wrote that together. Um, the idea behind this solo is we're trying to kind of outline the chord shapes using the thirds of each passing chord. So the first chord in that section is E minor, um, and so we kind of outline it like this. So the first part of the solo goes like this. And that last note, the, the chord lands on A, so that's the major third of A. So I'll play that one more time. Again, it's based out of a E minor um, arpeggio here, so. so. So that last note is C sharp, and so that is the major third of A. Um, and so the next part, it's, I kind of think of it as more of a D major pentatonic type situation, um, but. So. So one more time slow. So that's all just kind of based out on your D major pentatonic. And then this is the cool part in the solo where Alex and I kind of break off into a harmony. So I'll play this. One thing that happens on that part of the solo is I will switch pickups on the first bend. So I'll go to the bridge pickup, so I'll go. I'll 
switch right there. That's kind of a G major. Um, then that's your D major arpeggio. So I'll play that a little bit faster. And then the next part. So that next chord is, it goes to B minor there. And so I'll play this little B minor arpeggio. So, um, and that's essentially the solo. So I'll play it one more time, um, but just a little bit slower. And then I'll play it again with the track. And those little notes at the end, you know, I try to keep it a little bluesy where um, some notes I'll slide, but that little thing at the end, um, the... And so that's basically it. So I'll play it one more time to speed so you guys can hear it in context again. I want to give a big thank you to Guitar World for including me on their Sick Riffs feature. Um, make sure you check out our Spotify. You can stream our full record fresh out and you can also listen to Many Days Ahead on there. Um, so give us a follow there. And then for any tour dates, make sure you visit www.wakerofficial.com. And all of our tour dates are there. You can follow us on our social media accounts as well. We'd love to hear from you guys. A big thanks to all the fans as well. It's been awesome. Cheers. Cheers.